Welcome back. Put a head on this thing here. Well, I'm just going to jump right on to chapter 39, which is uh, pretty short. It's got a couple of drinks, but I'll have to drink two abominable. Go ahead and pour one out. Locked and loaded. Mighty fine. All right. Uh, the commandments of Alma to his son Corianton, or Corianton, Corianton, comprising chapters thirty nine to 42 inclusive. Yeah, sounds like he's going to bitch him out. All right. Good thing I didn't read ahead. <laughs> Except last year. All right. Wow, another masthead underneath this one. <laughs> he's got like three. Uh, Corianton reproved for harlotry. His sinful conduct conduct had affected faith of the Zoromites, Christ's redemption, retroactive. Cool. One. And now, my son, I have somewhat more to say unto thee than what I have said to thy brother. For behold, have ye not observed the steadiness of thy brother, his faithfulness and his diligence in keeping the commandments of God? Behold, has he not set a good example for thee? 2. For thou didst not give so much heed unto my words as did thy brother. among the people of the Zoramites. Now this is what I have against thee. Thou didst go on unto boasting in thy strength and thy, and thy wisdom. 3. And this is not all, my son. Thou didst do that which was grievous unto me, for thou didst forsake the ministry, and did go over to the land of Siren, among the borders of the Lamanites, after the harlot Isabel, the Siren, from Siren. <sighs> Four. Yea, she did steal away the hearts of many. But this was no excuse for thee, my son. Thou shouldst have tended to the ministry wherewith thou wast entrusted. Well, at least we got a strong female character. She got named. That's... wow. <laughs> yeah. Isabel. Kind of like Jezebel. Five. Know ye not, my son, that these things are an abomination? Ooh. 
these things are an abomination in the sight of the Lord, yea, most abominable above all sins. Uh. Save it be the shedding of innocent blood or denying the Holy Ghost. Denying the Holy Ghost is equal to shedding innocent blood. Six. For behold, if ye deny the Holy Ghost, when it once has had place in you, how is that possible? <laughs> and ye know that ye deny it. Behold, this is a sin which is unpardonable. Yea, and whosoever murdereth against the light and knowledge of God it is not easy for him to obtain forgiveness guess not wow didn't know I was a murderer god damn <laughs> chapter 39 kind of implies uh oh they're going to lock us all. <laughs> Yea, I say unto you, my son, that it is not easy for him to obtain a forgiveness. Seven. And now, my son, I would to God that ye had not been guilty of so great a crime. I would not dwell upon your crimes to harrow up your soul if it were not for your good. Eight. But behold, ye cannot hide your crimes from God. And except ye repent, they will stand as a testimony against you at the last day. 9. Now, my son, I would that ye should repent and forsake your sins, and go no more after the lusts of your eyes. But crush yourself in all these things, for except ye do this, ye can in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. Oh, remember and take it unto you and cross yourself in these things. Ten. And I command you to take it upon you to counsel your elder brothers in your undertakings. For behold, thou art the in thy youth, and ye stand in need to be nourished by your brothers and give heed to their counsel. Eleven. Suffer not yourself to be led away in any vain or foolish thing. Suffer not the devil to lead away your heart again after those wicked harlots. Behold, O oh, my son, how great iniquity ye brought upon the Zoramites! For when they saw your conduct, they would not believe my words!
Imagine that. Twelve. And now the Spirit of the Lord doth say unto me, Command thy children to do good, lest they lead away the hearts of many to destruction and become murderers. Just with an attitude problem. <laughs> Therefore I command you, my son, in the fear of God, that ye refrain from your iniquities. Thirteen. That ye turn to the Lord with all your mind, Fight and strength, that ye lead away the hearts no more to do wicked, wickedly. But rather return unto them and acknowledge your faults and, and that wrong which ye have done. <coughs> Fourteen. Seek not after riches, nor the vain things of this world. For behold, you cannot carry them with you. <coughs> Fifteen. And now, my son, I would say somewhat unto you concerning the coming of Christ. Behold, I say unto you that it is he that surely shall come to take away the sins of the world. Yay! He cometh to declare glad tidings of salvation unto his people. This was the ministry unto which ye were called. To declare these glad tidings unto this people and prepare their minds, or rather that salvation might come unto them, of uh, that they may prepare the minds of their children to hear the word at the time of his coming. Yeah. Te teach them this shit early. Now, I will ease your mind somewhat on this subject. Behold, you marvel why these things should be known so long beforehand. Behold, I say unto you, is not a soul at this time as precious unto God as a soul will be at the time of his coming? <laughs> Eighteen. 
it is not as necessary that the plan of redemption should be made known unto this people as well as unto their children. A real fixation on kids, don't you? Nineteen. Is it not as easy at this time for the Lord to send his angel to declare these glad tidings unto us as unto our children or as after the time of his coming? I don't know. We'll have to wait till chapter 40. Anyway, I guess we got a little bitch session going on here. So, I'll pick this up tomorrow. And, uh, good times. Peace. Fuck. Out. And wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're at.